Hope is in short supply. At least that's the perception. And so often, perception drives reality. And reality can really be a frightening thing. You see, perception can determine so many things. So many things. It can shape lives, homes, families, and destinies. That's why we need hope more than ever. And so often what happens in the hustle and bustle of everyday life is that you and I begin to look for hope in other places. And we begin to look for hope in other things, like an individual or a job or entertainment. We look for hope in the places that are never going to have lasting satisfaction. We need to be looking somewhere else. There is a light that shines through all of the darkness. You see, Jesus steps into our story. And when Jesus steps into our story, he offers us an invitation. He says, come unto me, all you who are weary and heavy laden. Like that is an invitation of redemption. That is an invitation of reconciliation. That is an invitation that brings light into and dispels darkness. And when darkness is driven out by the light, that is the moment that we are able to find our way home. You see, Jesus has come that we may have life and have it more abundantly, according to John chapter 10. You see, at just the right moment, Jesus steps in and he brings forgiveness of sin. He brings reconciliation. He brings sight to the blind. He is the way to find ultimate freedom. Jesus can reconcile and redeem you. He can bring hope to your life today. So the question that I have for you tonight is, what are you placing your hope in? And more specifically, who are you placing your hope in?